Gloria Stefan is here today and she is my mother. She's playing Maribel Lopez. She's really pequeña. She's super tiny and little and cute and just like a ball of energy and really excited to be here. Um, I mean, she's, she's a legend. She's awesome. She's so sweet. We met her like two years ago here with her kids. She brought her kids to like just hang out and see it because they were big fans of the show. And so now she's finally here playing my mom in the very last episode. And it's just another one of those things that you're like, God, Glee, you're the best. <laughs> this is the last episode of season three. And um, it's, it's really sad, you know? It's Zach Woodley, our choreographer, described it best when he said it's like the end of a really good book. Um, so everybody's sort of been like, you know, coasting down memory lane. And it's sad, but it's also a good feeling. Today I had a moment because this is the last day that I'll ever wear my Cheerios uniform. <laughs> so that's kind of like big and, you know, sad. I've worn this like every day almost for the past like three and a half years. Um, but all good things must come to an end. My first day on set was in October of 2008 and we were shooting the pilot and I had like two small scenes with Diana and I met her first and then the two of us just like clicked and like we're in survival mode because we didn't know the other kids and like they had been together for you know a very long time already rehearsing and stuff so we definitely felt like the newbies um, but we met everyone and then her and I just like became friends and started hanging out but I vividly remember meeting everybody and like what we talked about and how it happened. I don't know exactly when that moment was that I was you know definitely like these are some of my best friends it was like a progressive thing, you know? It was just like year after year, and then we would hang out more, and you would hang out with other people that you didn't hang out with that much the year before. It was very much like real high school, but now, like, these are my best friends. Like, I, I don't know what I would have done. I would have had no friends had it been for this job. But I made some of the best friends ever, and I will hopefully be friends with them for the rest of my life. Kevin proposed to me, but he asked, if I would <laughs> solemnly swear to be his friend for the rest of his life, and I said, yes. It feels good right now, because we have spent so much time in here, but I don't know, I feel like it's a really good feeling, like the way that we're leaving it, and it's like, you know, we are gonna go on and do like different things, and um, but this will always be a very fond memory and we'll always look back and be like, remember when we did this in the choir room or that in the choir room or like this guest star came or that guest star came and it's a good place. It's the whole experience for me that I'm really proud of. It's like, you know, I'd been acting for a really long time, but I'd never been on a job as long as this one, long enough to play the same character and long enough to be like, I'm proud of the way that I did that scene or the way that I sang that song. And so the whole thing for me has just been such a growing and like rewarding experience. It gave me everything. It's like, this is where it all started. You know, people talk about their like big breaks and this was my big break. And like, you know, like how many times do you get to say that like that happened to you? It was the best time of my life. Don't make me cry. It was the best time of my life. <laughs> She's making me cry.